Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Noct, and this is the Outer Worlds. So, this time I won't try to aggro the whole city on me. I still don't know what happened last time. Salt to the cannery, the only source of protein a busy worker needs. Spacer's choice. If you'd like to try different choices for skills and perks, try it uh, respect if you're machine on your ship. Okay, so I can respect myself, that's good to know. Edge water discovered. Oh, fancy. Even more fancy. What's behind these buildings? Hmm, nothing. Oh. Hello there! Dimish letter. Anna, your mother passed away from plague. She wasn't chosen to receive medical treatment and failed to recover on her own. I found a site near the ocean to bury her. I know it's company policy to have her buried in the graveyard, but I just can't afford the fees. I'm heading out after dark to put her to rest, say my final goodbyes and all. I know it's dangerous to go out alone at night, but I have to ch but I have to chance it. And if you are reading this, I want you to know that your mother was a good person. Don't blame her for what happened. She worked as hard as she could. It just wasn't hard enough in the end. Love, dead. That's fucked up how... Because of company policy they can only... Oh, okay. Because of company policy they can only bury people in the graveyard nowhere else. Heard something inside the walls today. Nothing for us outside those walls. So, we were the place, but found me over last time. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. Oh yeah, I remember this. Why not? Because I Yeah, sick. You make it sound like you're, I'm being watched. The walls talk is all. We all got sights on each other. Any of us breaks company protocol. Boss is going to hear about it from six different mouths. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. I got some training. I could take a look at you. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. You obviously need help. That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is to understand my own folly. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. It's a little late for that. I'm glad you see things my way. And not for nothing. But I appreciate you giving me the time of day. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Okay. I believe you'll be. At least I paid my grave settlement. Okay. Ooh, steel. Okay. Cartridges. I could sleep here, that's good to know. Hmm. Huh? Carry on. Okay, I cannot open any of those. Another resident. And I got a new outfit. Is this the one? Oh yeah it is. I don't like it. I think I used this one before.
Yeah, good enough. I want your hat. Nothing special. Oh. Okay, I could take some meat at least. Next location. What? Ah, okay. So these are supposed to be shot. I thought I got into trouble again. Konrad Sadik. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. You mean Germans or germs? Recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. I can show you my hands. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. What? You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. I'm looking to repair my ship. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. Your vicar? Vicar Maximilian, our man from the OSI, here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. I would expect You'll that. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. Silas sent me to call at your Jews. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. That's some quite a drama, Conrad. You should order it. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on. Medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly... I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Just give Silas an IOU? Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Hmm. I will let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Okay, this guy isn't specifically bad. It seems like he is broke. What can I do for you? Medical ten. You sound like you had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh, am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Maybe. Only if you use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice certified surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. I got some questions Go after that. You seem pretty enthusiastic about this place. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work. Not since the plague started. What do you know about this plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. 
I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. Hmm. What are the symptoms? Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. What you are describing sounds a lot like a flu. Whatever it may be, I have developed my own palliative. Boiled canid liver and a splash of ethanol. Why don't you treat all your workers then? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us. So we treat the best among us. Whose idea was that again? Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. That's all for now. Okay, this place is still fogged up. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Letter from Phyllis. Conrad, recently shot himself. This is bad. Company is going to have to call it for what it is. Disruption of spaces choice property. Elgin was an asset and somebody has to pay for uh, to pay his body price. This is gonna ruin us. So I was thinking about the, that we pawn of his teas. Elgin had a full set of gold teas. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. We are processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. Beside the teas somewhere nice and quiet, use the bits to pay his body price. And nobody's uh, the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Phyllis G. Okay. So you can pay. Ooh, two payment, okay. I won't say no. So now I got a new outfit. What I don't like. And a helmet. What I don't like. What can I do for you? I know about Eugene. Why not use his thesis as collateral for your graveside fees? You know about Eugene? How? I'm a mind reader. You were probably poking around my things. I really shouldn't leave my letters sitting out in the open. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom. Representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. <laughs> he took them to his grave. I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? I don't fucking care. I'm just here to call it your, your dudes. So you will go, Oscillas, dig up that fucking body, and get the teeth. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Goodbye. Thanks for doing business with you. Wanted, Gulamo Antrim. From the Space of Choice Department of Retirement, a writ of execution, effective immediately for Gulamo Antrim, former Space of Choice Associate Mechanic. Terminated from his position, escorted from Edgewater on grounds of unauthorized use of Adrina time. Wanted for disruption of company property, murder of company workers in good standing, theft, and unauthorized use of medical supplies. Generous bounty. Payment on delivery, you must be able to sign your own name. See Constable Rice for details. I mean, this sounds like a good deal. Okay, I will hunt down that guy. Almost if I can. Just the way it goes, I, suppose. I guess you are Rice, uh, right? Yeah. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in Frontier Justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. What? 
If you need help with your murder problem, I'm for hire. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. I got some questions. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Does the name Phineas Vaz mean anything to you? His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Um. He kidnapped me, unfroze my body, and shot me into space. Then I landed here. Mm hmm. Shot you into space? You know, lying to a Spacer's Choice Constable is a violation of company policy and punishable by a fine. It's a good thing I don't belong to the Spacer's Choice family. It is for Spacer's Choice. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy of Spacer's Choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas V. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. I assumed you were my nearest board authority. I represent Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which is itself a member of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Also, I specialize in processing fingerprints, so unless you're carrying Wells's finger on you, there's not a lot I can do for you. Alright, so who do I have to talk to? Any information regarding outstanding bounties and wanted criminals should be directed to Mr. Udom Bedford. Mr. Bedford's office is located on the Groundbreaker. Groundbreaker, what's that? Halcyon's original colony ship, now repurposed into a space station. Mr. Udom Bedford represents the board's interest on the Groundbreaker. Okay. Something else I can do for you? I understand. Goodbye. Edgewater Salt in Canary, Spacer's Choice Property, Tiny Access, Welcome Constable Rise. Records. All bounties posted by the Edgewater Constabulary have been authorized by Spacer's Choice. Few bounties? Yes. Our team. Uh. Yeah. You know what? No. I won't read this. I don't care enough. I will just kill the targets. So sometimes it's better to not ask questions. Just deal with your job. For various crimes and violations of board policy, including any of all the following Phineas Vivas, sedition, forgery, conspiracy, conspiracy to commit conspiracy, unlicensed medical practice, destruction of board property. Okay, so he seems to be kind of either a crazy terrorist or revolutionary. We will see later. Wish we had some better rations. Know how you feel. Okay. Ooh. Ah, it's just trash. Hmm. You some sort of freelancer? Yep, I am. I did not want to heal myself. Okay, there's a workbench there. Space that shows property. Maintenance division logs. Welcome to Holcom P. There are currently three open trouble tickets. Summary agent loader, serial failure, turn on engine, try it again, try it again, kick it, the loader, curse, injured toes, I've turned a minimum of 8 steps, try it again, it makes a rattling noise. I don't know if this will actually help me or not. Priority. Trouble ticket, blah blah blah. Filed by top zone, failure of main kind of reproduction line at heat processing, open start of production line according to schedule, observe processing of cans, Pull the first batch to heat processing stage, one or more loud popping noises, smoke, smell of burnt salt tuna, overheat clock slow motor 6, flames jet from exhaust ports, automatic shutdown. 
Mint az not, likely as not, best got indigestion from being made to eat something she ain't made to. Again, heading over now. Oh! This place is fancy. Okay, I'm gonna open you. Okay, more and more, I always need that. Okay, what's here? Maintenance Division Personal Terminal. Welcome, Holcomb Robert. Enter keyboard for record, search or hold down. Control Alt F7, enter to compose a new entry. Open the search. Indumati. Searching two records found. First entry. Indumati left Edgewater today. She's been reassigned to Terra 1. I kissed her goodbye at the platform and asked if I would ever see her again. We both know the answer was no. Look up and think of me as I look up and think of you. Transcript notes from Indumati. Robert, they wouldn't let me keep her, but I know you will raise her with love. Perhaps more than I would make time for. You are patient and present in a way that I am not. The company says she has no, no name until you give her one. Her name is Parvati. They tell me her birthday will be set on the day she is legally delivered to you. She was actually born on July 7. Make her feel special when I can't. She liked it when I sang to her. Uh, to her. It was the only time she stopped crying. Young Spacer's uh, Guide to Mechanical Engineering. One got found, one last entry. I sat up last night reading through the Young Spacer's Guide. Almost started reading it out loud from habit. I've been ten it's been ten years, but I still have parts of it memorized. Reckon I will take the next volume into work at the cannery. There's an unused unused office where I have been taking my lunches. May as well read the whole thing again. I did not want to be part of my gun. That was an accident. Hmm. Nothing here. Ah, uh, the best room. Oh, more parts. Okay. I take it. Anything here? Yeah, Adreno. Okay. Defeat our foes. Help the chairman and Minister Clark. Haste the freedom. Taste the freedom. Chairman Rockwell and Minister Clark, the team to lead Halcyon to an even better tomorrow. The centers in our midst. The enemy seeks to destroy our way of life. Ooh. Okay, a lot of loot. Sorry, I've got a lot to do. How big is this place? Ah, I'm almost done with it, okay. I'm sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. The next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threat, friend. I'm going. Okay, nothing really here. Ooh. Sort of shotgun. Okay. Can I place it in my gear? Oh, I actually had already one. Okay, then. I actually want this instead. Now I have bullets for it again. 
Hey. Don't make you're safer inside the walls. Well, I don't want to be safe. Okay, what's here? Mechpeak. I still don't know what that is. I guess this is the church. Work fortifies the spirit. Move along. Whoa. Looks quite good, honestly. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. Talking to the good vicar always lifts up my spirits. Okay. Let's talk with the vicar. Hey, vicar. Um, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. I'm looking for a power regulator. Mechanical tomfoolery is well out of my purview. I suggest you take such matters to Mr. Thompson in the cannery. Oh, and a word of warning. If you're considering wandering around outside the safety of the town, you'd best be cautious. I've been outside. I'm not impressed. And I can handle myself better than a vicar. <laughs> the marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastards snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. A uh, handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. So you'll consider it? I do appreciate you hearing me out. And, um, your discretion. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Why would a vicar be after a banned heretical book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Seems to me the authorities would be interested to hear you are up to this contraband text. On the contrary, my position means that I am one of the few legally allowed to possess such items. But do not worry, you'll be safe since you are acting on my behalf. Maybe I'll get your book and say to someone else. I can assure you, you won't find another willing to risk imprisonment to possess this book, nor anyone willing to pay the price I can offer. And what is that price? Glad we see eye to eye. I will look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Deal. Any progress on that matter we discussed? I haven't found your book yet. Please get it. You seem pretty concerned about that book. Care to tell me why? A religious text deemed heretical by the OSI is an unsafe object at large. Though I understand why a collector would desire to possess such a rare book. Because I'm also a collector. Of books. Rare things in this colony. Appreciation of the written word outside monthly periodicals is virtually unknown here. How did you know I'm an outsider? I've never seen you before. And there's been no paperwork indicating a transfer. Half the time it's wrong, but a new worker without paperwork? Unheard of. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy. Like a trapped animal. 
And I'm not an ass. That makes one of us. An ass? Who do you think... <clears throat> Please, excuse my ill temper. I fear you've misunderstood. Could be. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Isn't it your job to raise that, maybe? Just maybe? Yes, but there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Hold on a minute, did you just refer to this town as a miserable place? Yes, and thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to distress. This place could be so much more, and I will continue in my quest to make it so. What sort of spiritual advice do you offer here? They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. But seriously, that's what you are selling here, really? Selling? No. It is free for all who seek it. I'm sorry you don't find these tried and true words of wisdom to your liking. Uh, all you, all you, mm, fuck, all you have got are platitudes about enjoying your work. Have you looked around here lately? Have you? These people need something, anything they can grasp to survive. Delving into the metaphysical minutia of the grand plan would be nonsense to them, if not worse. I'm, <sighs> my apologies. The townsfolk are having a tough time of it. And it's been difficult for me to enrich their lives. They are good people. It is just difficult to reach them. I just thought of something else I need to be doing. Bye. Okay, so let's end this episode here. I think we asked on most of the city, did we? Yeah, that was the thingy, the police, there's the barber. The sick house. Yeah, only wasn't in the store. And these two buildings. Plus the factory itself. So, we will explore those in the next episode. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.